Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I'm pleased to have here another Acid Rain World figure for review. This is the Galucus, I think it's Galucus, Glalucus Infiltrator 303. Uh, so presumably that's from the Marines, they're the 303s. Let's uh, open up, have a look. So box art looks pretty cool on the front. Side just says 303, other side's got the... Uh, Name again, there's nothing underneath, and then the barcode and number on the other side. Let's open up and have a look. Green crate, which we've seen before, and we're uh, getting used to the crates. Nice green, and they I like these crates because you can pile them up, they can interlock with the teeth, so you can get so use them for dioramas and whatnot. Okay, open up side. We have bag. This has one, two grenades pistol two pistols and the assault rifle we have the what's this helmet and is it the shoulder icon i think there and we have our figure who is armored up and there is nothing below the foe let's put some ground up the way okay so let's open up our bag of goodies uh here first So, the assault rifle we've seen before, and it does have a drilled barrel, which I really do like this on Acid Rain World. Nice colouring, it's uh, weathered, I could say inked, but weathered looks pretty cool. Uh, we've seen these pistols before, two pistols and two grenades. Then in this one here... So it's the uh, shoulder icon there, you can make out on the camera, the pattern icon. Uh, this helmet does appear to be new, and it does open up. And I like the fact it's going to fit over the head, it won't be a separate head. And then we have our figure here who doesn't look particularly new, just the colour scheme and then obviously the helmet. Now he's got the big feet that we first saw, or the big shoes, these do come off by the way, that we first saw with the um, with the Facetti ages ago. I'll put him into just the videos for you, Facetti, and also we've seen on a few figures since. Armoured shoes, they look a bit clown-like because they're big, but these guys get amazing, he says. Ooh, nearly... I say amazing balance and I can't balance him. Because the leg's too low. There we go. Amazing balance because the feet are so big and the articulation is so great on these actual figures. And we'll come to the articulation in a moment. Let's have a look first. So he's got the uh, Fury 3 on his chest, just about here, which you can maybe make out. Uh, we've seen his vest before. We've seen the arm pads before. The forearm parts may be new. All the leg armor we've seen before, and he has two holster parts for his pistols on the side. Let's put them in and have a look. Now, the nice thing with the Acid Rain World holsters are they are very, very tight. So once the gun is in, it's not coming out. Not easily, anyway. Uh, head we've seen before as well. If I put the helmet on, fits nicely. It's quite atmospheric. I do quite like that. It's a bit more sci-fi. In fact, I would say that's too sci-fi for the 303 Marine. Uh, a lot of people said, and I sort of lean towards this, that Acid Rain is, it appears to be shifting away from the original sort of technology and the story, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, I'm not the creator or writer, but it's a great-looking figure. That helmet, you know, juts out a bit, but it does look good. Opens up, and we can see... The face still. I like that. Uh, the only thing I will say is there is nowhere for him to put his grenades that I can see. Oh, I'm telling a lie. If you look on his vest, you can see maybe there, here and here. There's, there are some little uh, holes which you can clip on the grenades on the back via the grenade pin, I hope. Okay, one and... 
come to Papa. Two, there we go. Looks almost like a jet pack now. But they clip on, and again, they are very tight. Not going to be losing those in a hurry. In fact, let me just consult the box again. Doesn't show on there, but how does that attach to his uh, shoulder? It looks like I'll have to take off our one part here and add this part on instead. So take off that part and you can add this part instead there, which I'm not going to do at the moment. Okay, let's look at articulation, even though it's all bulked up, see how good it is, then see how he holds his weapons and do a couple of comparisons. So, head is a left and a right. He has an up and a down, though it's limited with the helmet on and there's side to side still even with the helmet. Shoulders, this is where the uh, new Toys Alliance uh, articulation really falls down. If you push much further than that, the shoulders will pop out of joint, so the shoulders are not even flat. Though, I will point out that he does have a barbell shoulders. He does have shoulder roll, which you don't get in a lot of other figures. Uh, Arms going round, it will be all the round very easily on both sides. Bicep bend, we know it's going to be really good. Or rather, it should be really good because they have worked really hard in this bicep bend. Um, he does get over 90 degrees on both hands, but with the armor pieces, you can see it's not as tight as previously or previous figures we've seen for Acid Rain World. Uh, there is a roll from the bicep too. Uh, wrists, gun articulation on the right, and wave articulation on the left, and they all fully turn. He has trunk behind that, behind that vest, um, so he can get a side to side if he's not wearing it in the small forwards and backwards. He can turn from the waist. Hips goes this far with the guns in, still pretty damn impressive, that is very good. Forwards is not bad. Backwards is not bad as well, to be fair, considering. Very, very nice. He has a thigh turn here, which is great. He has a double kneecap. And he gets really tight, especially considering the bulk of his armour. Feet, I do like Acid Rain because he can turn from the ankle. So he's like Charlie Chaplin. He has a good tippy toe despite the bulk. He has his dorsal or dorsi flexation. It is not great because the bulk on the shin armor and the uh, armored shoes sort of stops that. And his feet do twist very nicely side to side. So if you take his legs out, he can still get his feet flat for really good balance okay now acid rain world are still probably the best for holding their guns particularly their rifles machine guns etc with two hands um, they are very very good at that and their hands are more rubbery now there's advantages and disadvantages the hands grip very well and you don't, get, you don't feel scared of breaking their fingers. Disadvantages, they will probably deteriorate faster over time if you're in a hot country with strong UV light. And look at that, he holds that combat rifle exceptionally well. Both handles, the stock is tucked tightly into his shoulder. He looks really good. In fact, I probably can even get a nice... Let's have a look here. A nice sort of can I get a lead on there? Oh, he wants to nail, but he wants to fall over at the same time. Well, that's uh deforming his sort of feet there, but that's just me posing very quickly. Gets a nice nail down sort of shooting posture. 
I don't think anyone's really that flexible in real life because that would have popped out his knee joint or his ankle joint, but it does look pretty good. Very, very easy to pose, great articulation, especially considering the bulk he has in that armor. And that armor does come off, by the way. In fact, if we look on the box, it shows you the armor pieces off on the back there. Okay, let's see how he holds his pistols. These should be exceptionally uh, well held again. The only thing is, more, really more of an effect for the uh, assault rifle is that he has one hand, he's got articulation on his wave, but it should be okay with the pistols. Now he holds these really well. The finger does fit in the trigger gap on the uh, right hand. Left hand, it should be the same. Let's have a look. Yeah, very, very nice. Let's have him shooting the other way this time. Very cool. <laughs> Holds the pistols particularly well. He looks absolutely fantastic. Bit more of a more realistic, more realistic, more of an action pose again. And sort of a side lunge. <laughs> Too many John Woo movies for him. Very, very nice. He is so easy to balance with these big armoured feet and so easy to pose. Okay, let's get his guns out of his hands and we'll do a comparison of a couple other figures. I will use an, one Acid Rain World and I will use a Joy Toy. So the Acid Rain World figure I'm going to use is the uh, Civet Company Sentinel. Well, this is the uh, is it a Aegis Sentinel? Oh, I know. Okay, so here he is here. Sentinel next door, you can see the the Sentinel is even a touch bigger, even with the armored shoes, a touch taller. But they scale very well together, they look really, really cool together. Sentinel could do some armored shoes really to help him balance a bit more those big bulky shoes. They look great together. And the other one I pulled out is a Joy Toy uh, Blue Falcon. This is probably Generation 2 Joy Toy. And the name is quite humorous because obviously Blue Falcon is like someone who does friendly fire uh, stuff. But he is a fantastic figure. I've actually got three of these to match my Metallic blue three, uh, Freeman mech. Let's get this standing up nicely first. And again, they scale particularly well together. Though my uh, acid rain guy, he wants to put his one leg long. It looks like one leg's longer than the other. It's because his knee's not straight. And there we go. Scale well together again. And again, he'll be in the videos as well. This is a fantastic looking figure. Great that it comes with all these accessories. Great that the armor comes off. His um, articulation is spot on despite the bulk. Very, very nice. You could pet him up to be more sci-fi if you want. You could... Uh, Especially that helmet, that helmet's great. I love that helmet, that sort of shape at the front is so un peculiar, unusual, and the fact that it comes up as well. Uh, great figure, I am I think it's a good release. I'm more of a fan of the Oritoy Acid Rain figures than the um, Toys Alliance ones, but Oritoy don't have a license anymore. I felt they had more individual character, even though they're sort of generic, as opposed to these. But having said that, this is a great figure. The, the is it the... Corsac or Crossac, I can't remember his name now, um, Trooper or, or Marksman, I'll stick into the videos, he was fantastic too, um, these are great. Okay, this is awesome action toys, I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe, I'll be back to more awesome action toy videos for you.
stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the rest of my contents. I've got loads of videos in this scale, lots of acid rain world, and bigger and smaller scales for you guys to enjoy. Bye-bye.